What's up guys, this is your boy the Average Gamer Mind here over here back with another video and we are on episode 3 of 7 days 7 different games challenge. If you are new to my channel, so this is basically a challenge where I am playing 7 different games for continuously 7 different days and the only criteria that I have over here is I am a totally new player so as to speak in all these games are like it's just a first impression and a review of all these games that I'm gonna do and these are all mobile games and few of these games I have played before and few of these games I will be completely new to the game altogether and this is just more of like I said first impressions and overview of what I feel the game is what are the graphics whether you should play it or not and uh, whether I enjoyed playing it or not so today's episode includes Shadow of Death 2. That is the name of the game and let's get started with this video right now. So we are here with the gameplay of a Shadow of Death 2. So just a nice music going on in the background. So this is how the main screen looks like. You actually have options of characters. So let's look at the characters that we have here. One is called Maximus, one is called Quinn and one is called Mount. So you can use these three characters and each of these characters have different skills which can be unlocked like you can see here at different levels of rarity like it's a rare legendary so these are like upgrade of the characters so once you complete a specific stage you will be able to play uh, Quinn and then again another stage if you are able to complete then you will be able to play Mount so I have not uh, like unlocked Mount until now and Mount is literally a new addition to the game as well so initially when the game launched they had Maximus and Queen as the main characters and they can be played and each of these uh, different characters have uh, like a different skill set level. So let's look at Queen here and let's also look at Mount although it's not uh, like uh, unlocked but we are going to look at Mount as well. So these are like like a skills of a uh, Queen here and let's jump in to look at Mount. Uh, Mount looks incredible. I mean from a graphic standpoint this does have some decent amount of graphics given the size of the game is pretty small it's not a very large game so you do get a decent amount of graphics and we are going to jump into the battle as well as to see how the battle looks like so now let's look into another option that we have over here and this is called craft so once you click on craft you get options of different weapons armors and accessories which will help you level up the character and do more amounts of damage so here we have different types of swords as well and each of the swords have a different category. So if we just go back here a bit, you can see here each of these swords have a different category. Like uh, this is a rare sword and this is like legendary ones and uh, like different different these are uh, like uncommon uh, like uncommon sword. It's mentioned here uncommon great sword. So let's move on into the video and let's look at the inventory. So basically every character can have a different uh, like as mentioned weapon armor and accessories like here these are again like upgradable so you can definitely upgrade and duplicate ones you can even sell like the option here is there to sell all. So ultimately for a character you get attack stat, defense stat as well as health points which is the HP stat as well. So let's look at costumes so this is a more of from what I could understand in the initial impressions is just you can change it here to how it looks and uh, there are different uh, costumes basically weapon helm and chest like it's mentioned and there are different game modes as well one is challenge and one is adventure so let's look into adventure here before and before that there is like a daily login rewards every time as well from it till like uh, day 30 level so that's what we have in uh, this particular scenario let's look at adventure and let's look at some of the gameplays and how this game uh, looks like so let's select a particular level here say let's say four five four uh, like chapter four and five normal so like I mentioned I'm not an advanced player and I'm literally a noob so uh, bear with me on the gameplay so let's look at the gameplay here and basically from a control standpoint you'll have to control using the d-pad basically here and uh, this d-pad is like fixed so you'll have to restrict your uh, like uh, precision touch points uh, I would say and you have different weapons and you can actually change the sword that you are using and these are the movement keys that you have over here and these are the special abilities so you can see from a graphic standpoint i feel the graphics is still good for a game which is very small in size i think it's less than 200 mb or or something like that i don't exactly remember the size but it's, it's very small it's not a very big game so once you defeat the enemies here 
you can actually move forward and here we even have a combo meter so let's move ahead and let's see you can actually jump in and uh, like travel through here basically while jumping so that's something uh, fun and there like all these enemies are in the form of like a shadow and hence the name of the game a shadow of death too so definitely this is a fun way of playing the game it's, it's a different uh, fighting game i would say and it's fun and you can see like a lot of enemies coming in but you can literally tap anywhere on the screen like literally i'm tapping anywhere and i'm able to do some decent amount of damage and once it's finished it stops like this and you get a victory sign obviously i didn't clear it within 60 seconds so let's do that again uh, let's uh, face the boss here so this is the next stage and you can see here let's do a bit of forward and here you can see one of the bosses so the boss battles are pretty straightforward as well i mean i didn't find any difficulty till the amount i had played and it's this boss is called naga the queen 2 so there are three one zero as well i think and then there are like leviathan which is basically a dragon and the game looks awesome there and you can literally change the weapons as well and once you upgrade the weapons it's a fun game to play i would say so from my perspective i really feel this game has a lot of potential and it's kind of underrated because it's not played that frequently is what i believe i may be wrong uh, i may be wrong but this is like i said it's it's the first impression so we also have the shop here so you can even uh, equip a shop uh, from the shop rather you can equip different cards as well so again you have uh, the shop option here street vendor option here from where you can end up getting like souls which are like a currency in the game then also you can get essence which you is again a currency in the game and blood is again a currency in the game so these currencies are definitely used for upgrading the characters the weapons basically the weapons as well as the skills that you have in the characters so definitely this is an interesting game to play try it out have fun with the game and let me know down in the comments below whether you enjoyed this particular review of this uh, game that I had tried out in this 7 days uh, 7 different games challenge. So this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here signing off. You guys take care and I am going to see you in the next one. Peace.